Today I'm going to be making a recipe out of my grandmother's uh, recipe book. So what it is called is the Three Bean Frank Bake. Try to say that fast three times. Three Bean Frank Bake. Never mind. I won't try it. Okay, so it is Three Bean Frank Bake. Okay. What we need is a can of uh, pork and beans in tomato sauce. And the recipe calls for a one pound can. You can't find those anymore. They're usually 15 ounces or 15 and a half. This one is uh, 15. So it, the recipe will end up just being a little bit shy of the quantity that it would be had you, you know, had a one pound can. But anyway, uh, pork and beans in tomato sauce, a can of chili beans, and it called for a can of butter beans, which is lima beans. I could not find them, or, or formal lima beans, I'm not sure. But I could not find them in my grocery store. So I picked up cannelli beans, so hopefully this will work out. And they all call for one pound cans. This one happens to be 15.5. And I think my chili is 15.5, chili beans. Okay. And 8 to 10 francs, they call them, and these are beef francs. And these are uncured, and it is nitrate-free, so that is good. I think they make them all that way now. Um, but anyway, so get beef francs, uh, oregano leaves, red wine vinegar, and uh, brown sugar. And it's really easy, and it says to pour it into a two and a half quart casserole or a bean pot. Now, I happen to have a uh, bean pot, so I will be putting them in here. So here you can get a look at how big it is. And I'm not sure, I'm sure this is a little bit bigger than a two and a half quart. But anyway, this is what I'm going to be using. And if you're interested in trying to find a bean pot, I found mine on Amazon and I'll put a link down below uh, for you. I had a heck of a time trying to find some that would work in the oven. I found a lot of decorative ones on eBay, but I couldn't find any um, in the store. So I finally found one on Amazon, but they're, they are not cheap. Okay, so um, let's get started. Uh, what I need to do is drain, which beans I need to drain. I need to drain the butter beans, which I'm using ke uh, cannelli beans. And I already washed off the top of my cans. Do not forget to do that. I think I told you the story once before. My cousin used to work in a grocery store and um, he, back in the stock room, there was a guy spraying pest control chemicals all over the tops of the cans. So make sure you always wash the top of your cans. All right, so let me get this drained. And this is going to be a super easy, super fast recipe. It doesn't require using the stove at all. It is just basically, you know, using your oven. These. Ooh, don't want those to fall. Rinse my hands a little. Okay. And it calls for your hot dogs to be sliced up, so we'll get get those all sliced up here. Get this stuff out of the way. And my dirty dish towel. All right. You know what, I think I'm going to do the onion first. It calls for one half onion. This is rather large, so I'm not sure if I'm going to use the entire thing. Okay, I'll just cut it this way. There, that looks good. I'll put that here. Get this stuff off of here. All right. Okay, let's get that stuff into my sink for the moment. This is really the one I want to use. You no, 
know, it's kind of like a, a baked baked beans. And this, I think, would be a good dish to bring to, you know, a uh, gathering or a Memorial Day gathering. Everybody usually likes baked beans. So it's kind of like a baked beans, I would guess. Ooh, that was close. All right. Okay, I think that's good enough. Yeah, maybe a little more. All right. Then I'm going to slice up these hot dogs. Rinse my hands first. And this is supposed to cook in the oven at 350 degrees for two hours. Now I think 350 degrees is a little bit too high of a temperature, so I am going to turn it at 325 and just keep an eye on it. It may take less than two hours, we'll see, but I'm gonna keep a close eye on it and I will let you know at the end of the video how long I, uh, you know, cooked it for in what the temperature was, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to cook it at 325. So I'm just gonna slice these kind of thin. Okay. Lately I've been having a craving for uh, pigs in a blanket. You know, the kind that you make with the Pillsbury Crescent dough. I don't know if you guys have ever made that before, but I just absolutely love those. Where you slice your hot dog, you know, down the, down the center of it or slit it a little bit and you stuff some cheddar cheese in there and then you wrap it up in a piece of the Crescent dough. They're so good. get these. I hope this is enough beans since I don't have the full, you know, the full uh, pound cans. Lucy's running around. That poor dog, she's been sick lately. She had, uh, well, it's not a good thing to talk about while you're cooking, but she had diarrhea, so we had to get some medicine from the, the vet, but she's finally feeling a little bit better and eating. Now, she hadn't ate for a couple of days. Okay, let me rinse my hands again. I am going to dump all this stuff into the bean pot. All right. And so I'm just gonna put everything into this pot, give it a stir, and then uh, throw it into the oven. Okay, I'll get these cannelli beans in there. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing here. Sorry about that. There we go. The beans are in the pot. Some of the beans. All right. Now for the pork and beans. I think it'll smell good in my house for an hour or so while well, this is baking. Yeah, I think this is this recipe she cut out of a magazine or a newspaper around the 1950s. Now the chili beans. 
Although I have never had baked beans with chili beans in them, so. Oh yeah, this is this container is the perfect size, this bean pot. get every lick out of there. Okay, now let me see. We need two tablespoons of wine vinegar. here. One half cup of brown sugar. And as usual, I will put all of the instructions and the ingredients down below in the description box if you're interested in making this recipe. And oregano, one quarter teaspoon of crushed oregano. Running low on that. Okay, let me make sure I have everything. Oregano, wine, vinegar, the vine wine vinegar, onion, brown sugar, the beans, all the beans are in, and the hot dogs. So I'm gonna give this a good stir. Smell the vinegar. No, Lucy, you can't have this. This would be like really bad for you. I mean, real bad. And it would be bad for your owners. Be bad for everybody all around. Okay, I'll give you a treat later. All right, it's looking good to me. All right, I am going to get this in the oven and I will be back with you in just a second, which will be a while for me and we'll see how this is turning out. See you in a second. Okay, I have to tell you, grandma knows best. Uh, they should be baked at 350 degrees for two hours with the lid off. Check on them periodically and stir them occasionally. Here is a look inside the pot. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, and they smell delicious. So let me uh, test them out. They're definitely done. I'll put a little bit in the bowl. Okay, here's a close up look. Give them a taste. They're gonna be hot. They're really good. It's a good flavor. I'm gonna grab a hot dog in with it, with it this time. Mm-hmm. Definitely. I'm making them again. Okay. Uh, like I said, the recipe and the instructions will be down below in the description box. And if you try them, please let me know. Leave a comment in the box down below. And um, I will, like I said, definitely be making these again. They're really good. And I think it would be a nice dish to bring to a gathering or like I say, for this upcoming Memorial Weekend. So that is it for now. Thank you for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.